Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little overall dress for baby girls between three and six months old. Now, it's very easy to make. You can also make it smaller from a newborn baby up to 12 months. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I always leave you links to all of my English tutorials since my channel is bilingual. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. To begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this number three yarn. It's called Himalaya Everyday Baby. Now, the label on this yarn says that it's a medium number four yarn, but it's actually thinner than a number four yarn. Uh, it's more like a DK weight or number three yarn. So you can use either. Now, to begin, I have 24 chains. This chain here is measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. Now, to begin on the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make one single crochet on each one of the chains. Continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 23 single crochets. Now for the second row, you're going to chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. Now on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next and so on. For this second row, this is all we're going to do. One double crochet on top of each one of the single crochets. At the end of this second row, you should have 23 double crochets. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making this second row and I have 23 double crochets, not including the two chains. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Remember, the two chains never count as a stitch. Now beginning on top of this first double crochet, make one double crochet. Into the second double crochet, make a front post double crochet into the third double crochet which is the next one make a back post double crochet into the next double crochet make a front post double crochet and into the next a back post double crochet this is how I'm going to continue for this third row we're just going to alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row on top of the last double crochet, we're going to make a double crochet. If you count each one of the double crochets, you should have 23 double crochets, not including the two chains. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet and on each one of these double crochets like this. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 23 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end. I made my 23 double crochets for this fourth row. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. In this row, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make double crochets. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, double crochet on top of the next and so on. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have 23 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain two and turn. Beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. And into the next double crochet, make a front post double crochet. Into the next back post double crochet. Into the next front post double crochet. And into the next back post double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this sixth row. We're going to alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I did a double crochet on top of the last double crochet and I have a total of 23 double crochets. Now for row seven, you're going to chain two and turn. Here in the next three rows, so for row seven, eight, and nine, we're going to repeat the same thing we did for rows four, five, and six. For row four, we did double crochets. For row five, we did double crochets. And then this last row that we did, 
Row six, we did front post and back post double crochets. So we're going to do these next rows in the same way that I just showed you um, in this last three rows. So beginning on top of this first double crochet, you're going to make a double crochet, double crochet into the next, and so on. Here, you're just going to do double crochets. You're going to finish with 23 double crochets. Then you're going to chain two and repeat the double crochet row. And then for row nine, you're going to repeat this last row that we did. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of the ninth row. I'm here at the end of this ninth row. Now for rows 10, 11, and 12, we're going to repeat the same thing. Two rows of double crochets, and then for row 12, you're going to do front post and back post double crochets, just like we did for this ninth row. So here, to start you off, chain two, turn, and beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet, and one double crochet for each one of these double crochets. At the end of the 10th row, you're going to have 23 double crochets, then you're going to chain two, turn, and then do the same thing for row 11, and then chain two and turn, and repeat this last row that we did, row nine, front post and back post double crochets. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of the 12th row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 12th row. In this row, we did front post and back post double crochets. Now, for row 13, chain two and turn. Beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet, double crochet into the next, and on each one of these double crochets. So here, all we're going to do is a row of double crochets. Continue, and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the 13th row. This is where we did double crochets. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work half double crochets all around. So here, we're going to chain one and beginning into this last double crochet, insert your hook and make two half double crochets. Then we have this chain two space in there, make one half double crochet and into the next, make two half double crochets. This is how we're going to continue here make one half double crochet then into the next stitch two half double crochets continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the top i did a total of 20 half double crochets now my last half double crochet is into this chain right there this is the first chain so into this same stitch here i'm going to make two more half double crochets so that in total we have three into this same stitch now here we're going to work one half double crochet for each one of these stitches. So continue and I'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these half double crochets along this other side and if I count the three half double crochets here in this corner, I have a total of 25. Now into this last stitch here, I'm going to make two more half double crochets so that in total into this stitch here we have three half double crochets now for this side we're going to do the same thing we did here here we had 20 half double crochets so we're going to do the same number of stitches here on this other side so beginning here this is a double crochet make two half double crochets then we have the two chains then make one so here you're just going to continue in the same way where you do two one two one and so on Continue and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these half double crochets along this side. Now into this last stitch here, I did three half double crochets. So here we're going to continue with the same thing. We're going to work one half double crochet for each one of these double crochets. So continue and I'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at this other end. Now to finish here, I'm going to make one last half double crochet into this same space uh, where I started. So make a half double crochet here. Now to finish, we're going to join to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. I've already cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop. Now this part here is done. This is going to be the top from here on. So I'm going to go here to this other end. This is the right side. Um, you choose whichever side is the side that you like best. I think this is the right side here. So I'm going to go here uh, to this corner right here and I'm going to insert my hook into, let's see, into the middle half double crochet right there. That's where I'm going to insert my hook. Or let's see what it looks like here in the second. No, I'm going to go here. So insert your hook there, grab a loop again with the same color we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets 
all around. So beginning here, we're going to go around this part and then finish here at this end. I don't want to do anything here for the moment. This is going to be the bottom, so we're going to leave this part here alone for a bit. So we're going to grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and beginning into this middle half double crochet, work a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post, half double crochet. Next one, front post, half double crochet, and so on. Here we're just going to continue all around, alternating between a front post and a back post, half double crochet. Continue like this all around, and I'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end. This is where we started. So here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add an extra stitch right into this space right here. So this part here is done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn. Here, we're going to work a total of eight single crochets. So beginning on top of this last half double crochet that I did make a single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight single crochets. Now we're going to turn, chain one, and then come back and do one single crochet for each one of these single crochets that we did, but we're only going to go through the back loop. So beginning into this first single crochet, insert your hook through the back loop and make a single crochet single crochet into the next, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochets, chain one, turn, and then repeat the same thing. Here, what we're doing is the waistband, just like this. This is what we're doing right now. So you chain one and turn and into the back loop, you make a single crochet. And we're going to continue like this until I have the size that I need. I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to be or how many rows. So we're just going to repeat this like this and we're always going to have eight single crochets. Now, if you want this to be wider, then all you need to do is just single crochet, maybe two or three more stitches, and then do the same thing I'm doing here. So continue like this. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my waistband now. I did a total of 57 rows and it's measuring from here to the end. It's measuring about 41 centimeters, which is about 16 inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to join here to this side. So we're going to turn this like this, or actually we're going to go the other way like this. So from here on, this is going to be the right side, the side that you are going to see in the front and this is going to be the back. So now we're going to join here and we're going to count eight stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So insert your hook like this, grab this loop, bring it through the front, whoops, chain one, and here, insert your hook into this last stitch that you did, and through this stitch, stitch number eight, right there, and make a single crochet. So now here, we're going to go into this next stitch, and in the back, through the back loop only, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Again, into the next stitch, and through the back, into the next stitch, and make a single crochet. We're going to do this until uh, this last stitch here. So I'm just going to continue in the same way. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. 
7 and 8. 8 single crochets. Now I've cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. And this is what it looks like. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the back and we're going to count 29 stitches. And into this 29th stitch, I put my stitch marker. So we're going to turn this actually like this. And we're going to go here, right there, insert your hook. And we're going to grab a loop here in the same color, pink. Now chain one and into this same stitch here, make a half double crochet. Now we're going to work half double crochets on each one of the rows. So into the next row, make a half double crochet. That's two into the next three and then into the fourth row, make an increase. So make two half double crochets here, one and two. Again, make three half double crochets, one, two, three, and into the next two half double crochets. This is how you're going to continue all around. So continue like this and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 105 half double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, one and two. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make another fan two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for this second row. You're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Continue like this all around, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row now. Up to here, I have 26 fans. I'm going to make one more because I still have four stitches here. So to make this last one, we're going to count one, two, and into the third stitch, we're going to make a double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. This is the last fan. So now I have 27 fans. So to finish this row, we're going to go here to the side, we're going to pinch the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. Now for the third row, we're going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet, a slip stitch inside this chain one space. Now chain three, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. For this row, we're going to make fans again. Now jump to the next fan and inside the chain one space, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do around this third row. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 27 fans now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to pinch the third chain here to the side right there and join with a slip stitch. Now to make your next row, you're going to make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside this chain one space. Now you're going to chain three and into this same space, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Here's the first fan to the fourth row. From here on, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the third row. Inside each one of these fans, you're going to make a fan. And this is all we're going to do from here on. We're just going to repeat the same thing, the same row. And we're always going to end with the same number of fans, which is 27. Now, when you finish this row, again, you're going to join here to the side, right here where we have the third chain with a slip stitch, and then you're going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside this chain one space, then chain three and repeat the same row. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I did a total of 15 rows of fans and it's measuring from here, the top of the waistband down to the last row, it's measuring about 21.5 centimeters, which is about eight and a half inches. Now, if you want to make this part longer, you can, or maybe shorter, that, that would be up to you. I'm only going to do 15 rows, which I think is the perfect size. So now here, what I'm going to do is um, this last row, I'm just going to go here into the third chain and join with a single crochet, not a slip stitch, but a single crochet like this. Now chain two, and now into this chain one space of this first fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, two chains, single crochet between the two fans, and again repeat the same thing. Two chains, single crochet inside the chain one space, three chains, single crochet into this same space, two chains, and then a single crochet between the two fans. This is how you're going to continue, so continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row now. I did my last two chains here to finish, which is going to go here where I did the first single crochet to join the last row. So right there, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Now I've cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop. Now I'm going to make one more row. So if you want to continue with the same color yarn, you're not going to cut your yarn. You're just going to turn like this. So here I'm going to turn right here like this and into this same stitch right there right in the center like this i'm going to grab this loop bring it through the front and chain one chain one now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the row below so this second row, if you count from the top, one, two, so into this row of fans, you're going to open like this, and inside this chain one space of this fan, we're going to do two double crochets, one and two. Try to make these um, double crochets a bit longer. We want these to be a little bit bigger. So now chain three, and back again into this same stitch, make two double crochets, one and two, like this. Now jump to the next fan, and same thing, open this up like this, and inside this chain one space of this fan below, right there, do the same thing. Make two double crochets, one, two, three chains, two double crochets. So this is all I'm going to do for this row. So continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this last row of fans. Now here, all I did was just make a single crochet right in the center, right here. This is where we started. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to chain two. Insert your hook through this chain three space of this front fan and then through the back right here where we have the three chains. Make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet again into this same space, two chains, and a single crochet between the two pink fans right here. Two chains, insert your hook into this chain three space and through the fan in the back. Make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, two chains, single crochet between the two pink fans, and then continue with the same thing. Two chains, insert your hook inside the chain three space, and through the back, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. This is how I'm going to continue for this last row, and this is what it looks like from the front. So continue, and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this last row. All I did here was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and just pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. And this is what it looks like from the right side. Now, what we're going to do here is, we're going to go here to this part, and we're going to make our straps. Now, I'm going to make my straps like this. Uh, these are single crochets, and this is going to be about 48 rows. So we're going to start right here on this side, and then right here on the other side. So 
here I have some stitch markers I have let's see we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and then right here right in the center this is row 16 that's where I have my stitch marker now I'm going to do the same thing for this side we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and then sixteen so we're going to start here on this side we're going to count six rows going back so that's one two three four five six right there insert your hook right here bring this loop through the front like this and chain one if you want to make this wider than do seven um, this would be up to you I'm only going to do where I have six stitches or six single crochets so I chain one now into this same space here make a single crochet so that's one then go to the next row right here that's two next row three next row four next row five and six right here where I have the stitch marker okay now we're going to turn chain one and we're going to make single crochets onto each one of these six single crochets so through the back loop insert your hook and make a single crochet that's one two three four five six now turn chain one and repeat single crochet through the back loop one two three four five six again turn chain one and repeat this is all I'm going to do to make my straps and I'm going to do a total of 48 rows so continue and I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making my first strap I did a total of 50 rows instead of 48 rows now it's measuring about 21 and a half centimeters which is about eight and a half inches so now what we're going to do is I'm going to do the same thing we did here along the bottom I'm going to do it here along the edge now I'm going to crisscross my straps like this so I need to do this next row right here on this side so on the inside of the strap so to do this I'm going to go into this next row right there and I'm going to make a slip stitch now go into the next row and make a slip stitch now chain four and into this same space here make a double crochet here I'm going to make these stitches along the side first and then I'm going to make the row of fans now to do your next one you're going to skip one two and into the third row right here make a v-stitch so double crochet chain one double crochet again skip one two and into the third right here make your next v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet this is all i'm going to do so continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I did a total of 17 V stitches. My last one was here. This is the row of single crochets that we did. Now I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop and this row of V stitches is done. I have 17, like I said. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to this first V stitch. Now I'm doing this because if we were to chain one and turn, our fans are going to be on the wrong side. So uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So I, I'm going to start right here. So into this first, V stitch insert your hook grab a loop I have this same yarn you can change color here if you like I'm not going to because my last row is going to be exactly how I did the bottom here so bring this loop through the front chain three double crochet chain one 
two double crochets. Inside each one of these V stitches, we're going to make these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So jump to the next one and do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this to the end. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have 17 fans now. For the next row, we're going to chain one and turn. On top of this, first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now chain two, and inside this chain one space of this first fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, two chains, single crochet in between the fans, two chains, single crochet again inside the chain one space of the next fan, three chains, single crochet, two chains, single crochet between the two fans. This is how you're going to continue. So I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. All I did here was I chained two and then into the third chain here at the end, I did a single crochet. Now I cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through this last loop. What we're going to do next is we're going to go here to this other side, right here. This is going to be the right side because we're going to crisscross these straps like this. So this is going to be the right side. So we're going to go under right here and I'm going to insert my hook into this last single crochet right here. I'm going to change color to this pink color. I'm going to grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now, inside each one of the V stitches, we're going to have to move these double crochets like this so that right in the middle, right there, we're going to make V stitches. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, make a double crochet. Make sure that this double crochet is nice and long. We want to make sure that it's a bit longer so that when we come back and do the next row, you can see uh, the very edge there. So make sure you pull this loop. Now chain three, back again into this same space, make a double crochet. We're going to make these V stitches here, like this. Now again, jump to the next V stitch, open this part here, and inside this V stitch right there, do the same thing, make a V stitch. So double crochet, three chains, double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this row. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have not closed my last double crochet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here where I have this single crochet at the end and I'm going to insert my hook also into this first single crochet right here at the very end. This is so that these fans here or this edge here is not flapping around. Um, I'm going to secure it here. So I'm just going to pull this loop and make a slip stitch through all of these stitches. And this is how I finish this part here. Now, chain one, uh, chain two instead. Turn and inside this chain three space, insert your hook and through the back, through the chain three space of the V stitches, grab a loop, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet again into the same space, two chains, single crochet in between the two V stitches in the back, two chains, insert your hook through this chain three space and through the back, single crochet, three chains, single crochet again, two chains, and single crochet in the back through between the two V stitches. And then continue like this. So I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I did my last two chains now here to finish. We're going to insert our hook here into this first single crochet. Then we're going to go down here in this row where we have the waistband. So I'm going to skip one, two into the third row, which is right here, right in the center. I'm going to make a slip stitch like this. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done and this is what it looks like. There it is. 
Now, this is what it looks like from the inside. I love the way that this turned out with the V stitches. I think I'm going to do something else, perhaps another little overalls uh, using this stitch here um, as the front. So this is what it looks like. So now this is the front. I added this button here. This is about, uh, what size button is this? Let's see. It's about one and a half centimeters. And we're going to use this corner here for our buttonhole. Right there. So this button here, I just attached it to the end. And then we're going to use this um, corner stitch right there as our buttonhole. And this is what it looks like. There it is. Now this is the front and here's the back. Now for the next strap, I already did mine. I did 50 rows and then I did six single crochets or one single crochet for each row and then I did my rows here for a total of 50 rows. Now when you start this other side, you're going to start here on this side right here at the bottom and then you're going to work your way up making your V stitch row. Make sure that you have the same number of V stitches and then you're going to cut your yarn and then come back here on this side and make your uh, fans. You're going to do the exact same thing, it's just that you're going to start here on at the bottom. So I'll come back and show you once I'm done. Okay, I finished making the other strap. This is what it looks like here at the end. I added my button and this side here is done now. We're going to use this corner as our button hole and there it is this is what it looks like so both sides are now done this is what it looks like from the back now if you don't want these to crisscross like i said you can just do that do everything here on this other side so this is what it looks like from the front i think i'm going to do a little overall for little girls uh, with this same style strap and we're going to close it here at the bottom so it should come out super cute as well now let me give you the measurements the total height is, let's see, it's about 34 centimeters. The waist, let's see, without stretching it just like it is, like this, it's about 21 centimeters, which is about, let's see, nope, it's more like 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. And here the skirt is about, Let's see, 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches from the waistband down to the skirt. It's about 24 centimeters here at this last peak right there, uh, which is about nine and a half inches. So based on these measurements, this little dress overall is for baby girls between three and six months old. Now, be sure to check out down here in the information box uh, on how you can make it bigger. It's just a matter of changing your hook size. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.